Hello students, today we will learn how to create a new email account. So for this thing, uh, we have to follow many different steps. As I have told you earlier, the first step to create a new email account is you can uh, open by using your mobile phone or you can open by using your uh, computer. So I am telling this method by using a laptop. So in this laptop, you can find any browser uh, just like you can see here. In my computer, you can find Google Chrome is there, Microsoft Edge is there, Firefox browser is there, Opera browser is there, Torch browser is there. So I open Microsoft Edge browser. You can open any browser, no problem. So whenever you open the browser, you can find a um, address bar. So the first step, you can go to the address bar and you can uh, type the URL. You can type the URL. Suppose you want to open the email uh, in the Gmail server, then you have to write down the URL here, www.gmail.com. So this is the uh, gmail.com is uh, the URL for Gmail server. So Gmail server is uh, one email service provider. So when you open Gmail server uh, or gmail.com, uh, then you can find this screen. You can also uh, open like uh, um, yahoo.com. So here you can write yahoo mail.com. This is another email service provider. So you can open mail.yahoo.com. Then you can also try like hotmail.com. Then you can also try like your AOL.com. So these are some of the uh, free email service providers. In this browser, I have opened uh, four email uh, email service providers like the first one. This is uh, the screen for Gmail service provider. This is for Yahoo mail service provider. This is your Outlook or you can say Outlook or Hotmail.com. Then this is uh, your AOL.com. So you can choose any one. If you want to open Gmail ID, then you can uh, click on uh, gmail.com, then you can find this type of screen and here you can find create an account. So any website or any web server you can find uh, uh, in Gmail ser server, you can find a create a account or in Yahoo mail server, you can also um, find a button that is sign up. If you want to uh, open in Outlook, here you can find create free account. And uh, in AOL, you can also find here mail. Then in that mail, you can find, so the net is very slow. So here you can find create an account. So wherever you go, you can uh, in any uh, in any email service provider, you need to find the button that is create an account or sign up. So these are the uh, four websites where can you uh, click. The, today we will learn about gmail.com, how can you open your gmail id. So we go to gmail uh, web service provider. So here you can find this type of screen. Uh, click on, uh, so the first step is open any browser, then write the url here. So we have typed here www.gmail.com. Uh, then after that we, we do not have any uh, email account. So here we have to click create account. So when you click create account, then it will ask you for whom, for my business or to manage my business. So here I can uh, click for myself. Then in this place, uh, to create a Gmail account, uh, the Gmail service provider will ask you some questions like what is your name? Suppose I want to write my name Santos Kumar. Uh, suppose here it is Sahu. Then username. This is very crucial part. So when you open one email address, you have to give one email uh, ID. Uh, the email ID comprises of two parts. One is username and another one is your server name. That is here. It is already written. That is at gmail.com. Suppose I want to write here, Mr. Santos Kumar Sahu O A P. So Mr. Santos Kumar Sahu OAB at gmail.com. This is my username. So whenever you are writing any username, uh, this Gmail server will check the server whether this name is available or not. 
So when I click over here, it will check whether this email ID is available or not. Then after you create your username, you have to give one password. So the password you must give uh, eight or more characters with uh, some letters, some numbers and symbols. So I uh, give one uh, ID and uh, I have already created the username. So I'm giving the password. So I'm making the password. So when you create one password, always try to write uh, the password on a pen and a paper so that it will be easy for you to remember. So that you can exactly write the same uh, address in the confirm button. So here I am right entering the same password again. If you want to check the password, then you can click on this uh, show password button so that you can uh, uh, see the password. But I don't want uh, others to see my password. So I, I, I don't click on the show password button. Then here you can click on next button. Then I'm clicking next button. So when you click on next button here, it will ask you uh, the phone number. So phone number is optional. If you want to give a phone number, then it is okay. If you do not want to give a phone number, then it is also okay. So in this place, you can uh, give your phone number. Then here you can give your recovery email address. Suppose here I'm giving my recovery address is this one and it automatically take my phone number then I um, give my uh, uh, date of birth so here I am giving 7 November then it will ask you gender then after entering all this information you can click on next button so when you click on next button it will give you um, uh, verifying your phone number so it will give you uh, one OTP or it will give you some code that will go to your uh, mobile phone so in this place you can click send so when you click send you will get one OTP in your mobile phone so make your mobile phone on in this place I got my OTP in my mobile phone So I enter the OTP, then I click verify. So it is verified. When it verified, then you can click on here. Yes, I mean. Then it will ask you some privacy terms and condition. You can read all those things. Then you, you can click I agree. So when you click on I agree button, then it will create your email account in the Google server or you can say in your Gmail server. Now your, your email ID is created. So uh, this is uh, the new interface. My first email address is created. Uh, so it will ask you Google Meet now in Gmail because uh, Google Meet is a product of uh, Google and Gmail is also product of Google. So you can click here OK. Then Google recommending using Chrome. Uh, because uh, Google Chrome browser is also from Google company so it will ask you Google uh, recommends uh, Google Chrome but now I'm using um, your uh, Microsoft Edge so I I don't want to so I click uh, here do not switch then here you can find this is my email interface so here you can find my email address already uh, created so here you can find the account because my name start with s so here it you can find s icon is there you can put your photo over here no problem so my email account is mr santos kumar sahu ob at gmail.com this is my new email address and in this email ad, uh, id here you can find and there are some buttons so here you can find the button that is compose if you want to create a new email address then you can uh, sorry if you want to create uh, and uh, send uh, write a new email and you want to send to some of your friend or your a relative or you, your officer or your uh, teacher then you can click on compose button then here you can find inbox button in the inbox button you can uh, find all your received emails 
then here you can find a star some sometime we check star uh, to um, identify some of the email so you can click on this one then snoozed sometime we do not want uh, some email that disturb you so sometime we uh, snooze some of the emails so those emails you can find here then this is the button send button in this place you can find uh, how many emails you have sent then here it is drafts email draft in the draft uh, uh, and draft uh, button you can find uh, incomplete email suppose you write one email and uh, in between you do not want to complete that email then uh, automatically the email will sa save into the draft folder then here you can find some more so click on more and you can find uh, charts schedule all mail spams and bean spam sometimes uh, you can find some spam like some irritated emails or advertised emails that goes to spam button suppose sometime you want to delete your uh, emails then it will go to bin button uh, bin tab uh, so here in the bin folder then here you can uh, create a new labels and all those things suppose you want to create a new uh, meeting then you can click on new meeting join a meeting all those things you can find over here so this is uh, the uh, way how can you create your new email account so whenever you created your email account suppose i want to send a email to uh, my another uh, email id so i can, how can i uh, send email so here i can click on compose button so when you click a uh, compose button you can find one pop up window here you can find a new message pop up window in this place you can write down to whom you want to send suppose i want to send a uh, email to my another email address so i am writing here santosh kumar sahu mca at gmail.com this is my alternate email id so here i write uh, my uh, email address another email address suppose you want to send to another friend then you can write your email address suppose you want to send it to multiple people then you can click here cc and bcc so if you click on cc then you can find suppose i want to send this email to my another uh, address like b a n i t a k u m a r i p r a d h a n at gmail.com that means this email address will go to uh, as a, this uh, email address is in the cc that means exactly same copy of my email will go to two email address suppose you want to uh, add another email address um, so here you can click on uh, bcc actually cc and bcc both are same but the thing is uh, whenever you uh, 